there would be بين يدي الساعة فتنون كقطع للمظلم there will be fitan is another one of these comprehensive words in Arabic it's difficult to um, to translate but sometimes it means persecution sometimes it means civil strife uh, it can mean rebellion and revolution sedition what's called sedition um, it can also mean um, just a tribulation it can mean an enticement like a beautiful woman traditionally is, is, uh, is an Arabic name for ladies in, in Arabia they call them Fatina you know, so a very attractive woman. So fitna is also attraction. It's something you're attracted to. And people are attracted for, to fitna very often. But he said that there will be fitn kaqata al mudlim. There'll be like portions of a dark black night, just one after another, just getting darker and darker. And, and Imam Ali, when he heard that, he said, Mal makhraju ya What's the way out? Uh, how, what's the way out? And he said, Kitabullah, the book of Allah. And then he said, In it is, is news of what went before you and also of what comes after you. So it tells you what happened in the past, but it also tells you what's going to happen in the future. And that's the amazing thing. Even though we're here for a very short time, you know, people watch a film, and even though it's a terrible film, they'll keep watching it because they're caught up in it. They want to see what happens at the end. This is a part of human beings. They, they always want to know the end of a story. And one of the beauties is even though we have very short lives in relation to the overall life on earth, like we're here maybe 60, 70 years maximum. Uh, I mean, some people, but most people, the Prophet said, which is a mercy because that's the last decade where people are healthy. So that's part of his rahmah, is that people die before they get really sick. And, and so, but you wonder like what's gonna happen? on earth, you know, like, because you're not going to be here to see the end of the story. Well, that's part of the reason why Allah tells us. He gives us the whole story. So we know. We don't have to worry about not seeing the end of the film. You know, Allah, Allah's already told us what it's going to, what's going to happen. And the atheists win, you know. I, the, the world that they, they, they envision, this wonderful world without religion, will be a very horrible world. The world was bad enough with religion is going to be much worse without religion. Uh, it's a human problem. But it's religion that, it's why these nuns take care of people with Alzheimer's. And it's why a lot of people will take care of, of people that, because they expect a reward from God. I mean, there's people that have basic humanity. That's true. I'm not going to deny that. There are secularist people that don't believe in God that do have really basic humanity. But that's not, that's not the norm amongst people without religion. And it's been proven in social sciences that people without religion give less charity. They're less likely to volunteer. I mean, these are realities uh, of the world. And so the atheists win because the Prophet said the end of time won't come until nobody's left that says Allah on the earth. So we know that they win, but they don't win in the next world. And that's where things are, are very uh, different. Where Distinguish yourselves, criminals. Every, everything gets separate. And so that's, um, so he said that, you know, that it'll tell you what comes after. Uh, and then he says, Hur Fasal Laysa Bil Hazal. You know, it's a it's a it's a decisive word and it's not a light, it's not frivolous in any way. min jabarin qasamahu Allah. If you leave it out of arrogance, Allah will break your back. min jabarin qasamahu Allah. huda fi Allah. And if you seek guidance in other than that, you will be you will go astray. Uh, it's the rope of God. And it's his clear light. The, the light has come. Uh, it's a clear light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's the straight path, the Quran. Your appetites will not deviate with this book. If you follow this book, your appetites won't deviate. Because the Prophet said, None of you truly believes until his hawa, his desire, is in accordance with the Quran. And so if you follow the Quran, 
your desire will, won't deviate. It won't deviate. And when you speak, your words will not be uh, confusing. Uh, they'll be clear. Uh, and opinions will not be uh, they, they, won't, they won't be contradictory and, and diverse if you follow the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then he said لا, لا the scholars never get tired of studying it and, and the, the, the devotees the, the, the worshippers they never weary of, uh, of it so they can re recite it and they really will enjoy reciting it. Um, and its wonders will never cease. There will always be things coming out of the Qur'an that are extraordinary. People will continue to discover things in the Qur'an. And it's the book that the jinn, when they heard it, they said, surely we've heard a wondrous book. If you speak, if you quote the Qur'an, it's truthful what you're saying. And if you judge by it, you will be just. And if you act according to it, you will be given a reward. And to call to it is a means of being guided to the straight path. It will be a protection for anyone that holds to it. And it will be a salvation for whoever follows it.